good morning class welcome to your computer class and for today our chapter is introduction to computer okay so for classwork i will be explaining you this picture right here okay and for homework you will see in your other slides all right so let's get started this is chapter name is introduction to computer okay so before getting started let's see the key features here okay what are the key features that is what we will see in this chapter okay in this sub chapter you will see the ipo cycle that is input processing output cycle development of computers abacus and ibm make one okay so this is what we will be studying in this chapter let's get started machines make our work easier and faster okay in our daily routine we use many types of machines so machines are very much useful for us they will make our work easy and fast computer is also a machine that works on electricity and helps us to do many things quickly and easily so computer works computer is also a machine it works on electricity and it helps us do many things all right so the word computer is taken from the latin word computere okay so latin is a language okay like english is a language similarly so computere was the original word which means to count or computer okay so count or to do calculations okay so computer means a machine which performs calculation so what is computer it is a machine which performs calculations okay computer does not only solve our mathematical problems but also gives logical answers as yes or no when instructed okay so what are mathematical problems like addition subtraction these are mathematical problems so computer solves our mathematical problems but also it gives logical answers also what are logical answers logical answers are those answers which are answered in the form of yes or no okay so computer also does this for us okay add to your knowledge so this is just for your extra knowledge calculations like addition subtraction are called arithmetical operations so what are arithmetical operations like addition subtraction multiplication these are arithmetical operations whereas decision making problems okay decision making where we have to decide something are called logical operations okay where we don't have to do any calculation but we have to decide we have to take decision okay so this was just for your extra knowledge let's head on to this site so computer is a machine which gives solutions to both arithmetical and logical problems so computer gives solution to our arithmetical as well as logical problems working of computer so compute working of a computer is based on sir, some cycle and that cycle is called ipo cycle okay a computer is a machine that works on the principle of ipo cycle all right in ipo cycle data and instructions are entered so in ipo cycle cycle we enter data they are processed stored and finally the result is given out okay so first of all we give data then the that is processed and then the result is given this is called ipo cycle okay i will just explain it here i input means instructions and commands given to the computer data a computer accepts examines and calculates the result this is called processing okay so what is input that is the data which we give to the computer okay like if you type anything that will be data all right and then processing is done processing is done by computer and it is very fast so we don't um, uh, we don't even get that how this processing was done so it is very fast the result given by the computer after processing is called output so the finally what we get is result and that is called output all right for input process and output different computer devices are used okay input processing and output for all the three different devices are used okay on the basis they can be categorized as input device 
processing device and output device so on this basis these are identified as input device processing device and output device all right this can be understood in the following way so just to explain this ipo cycle this has been given okay so let's see first of all it is input the computer takes in data and instructions which we feed into it using input devices such as keyboard and mouse so input devices like keyboard and mouse help us to type or to input data into the computer all right that is called input now what is processing it processes and stores the instructions we feed into it using the cpu so how it Mm, uh, how it stores the instructions using CPU. All right, then it gives the result using output devices such as monitor and printer. Then it gives result. Okay, and result is shown in monitor and printer. Okay, we see many such examples of IPO cycle in our daily life. So this is just an example for you all. All right. So here you can see. Uh, it is given that to draw a picture paper and crayons are required these are the inputs so what are input input are the things which we require to do our work okay so like if you want to draw something what you need you need a paper and you need crayons okay so that is input now what you will do using the paper and crayons to make the drawing is processing now uh, using these two you will draw something okay so that the drawing will be called processing okay then at last the completed drawing is the output so the at last this drawing will be made and this will be the output so paper and crayons are input and you will draw something that will be processing and finally you get the result in paper that is output okay so to further understand the ipo cycle we can take this example and also of banana shake okay like for banana shake what you take you take bananas okay and other things like milk and sugar okay and that is input second processing you mix them all into the mixer jar juicer whatever okay that is processing and finally you get the uh, banana shake that is called output okay so this is the whole ipo cycle let uh, so this was all for your classwork now let's head on to our homework slide so for homework what you have to do is draw the ipo cycle so which is the ipo cycle the this one okay you have to draw this ipo cycle okay so that's all for today thank you and have a wonderful day